In this lesson, we will discuss the debugging part. This is a very important and useful part, not only for consultants who would have to work regularly in the software, but also for programmers to improve, perfect, and find errors in the created program. So here we are in our program, which we generated earlier. And in order to debug it, we are going to go to More, Program, Execute, and then Debugging. So what exactly is debugging? This will allow you to enter in runtime mode inside the code and to be able to analyze different information, the different variables inside it, how they react, what values they take according to this or that statement. This will allow you to really see all the details of your program. We are going to fill in our two parameters needed to enter the ABAP editor. So like this, 15 and 10. 10, sorry. And here I execute and you can see that we are in the debug part. Here, we are in the debugging screen. You have something interesting up here, which are the desktop, like you see here. They will allow you to arrange the windows that you see here in the most optimal way for you. Desktop one, here. Put the code on top, all the way down, and here it shows you the variables, here. The variables, what we've declared, whether they are selected variables here or by clicking, clicking on global, like this, global, all the variables that are present in your code. We'll come back to that right after. Desktop 2, here, display the program on the left and on the right, it displays the different screens that appear. Desktop tree is the same thing, the code on the left and on the right, it will indicate the variable. At the variable level, you see white lines here. You can select by double clicking on variable and you will display it here and see its value. So maybe I can double click on ph1 and you see my variable appears here and we can see the value. I double click on LV sum here. It appears as a variable and shows me its value currently zero. You can define several sets of variables like here, variable one, variable two, but also the global which gives all the variables, so here the globals, give all the variables of the program and all their values at the moment you look at it. So you can see pH1 with 15, pH2 with 10, and the rest of our variables are currently at zero. Once in the program, you can move forward step by step. First of all, you can see here the little arrow that indicates where we are in the program. The single step here will move our arrow to the next operation. So every time we click on the single step, you will perform the current operation. You see, for example, that LV sum is currently at zero. And if I execute a single step, I will execute this operation and you see now the result in LV sum. I can do the same with the variable LV mul for multiplication. You see that actually I'm at zero and if I do the single step, I calculate it and my variable has now the value 150. You have to continue here which will go to the end of the program or stop at a breakpoint. Here, I go to the end of the program. SAP then shows me the results. I go back into the code 
and like I said, so here, and like I said, either to continues goes to the end of the program or stops at a breakpoint. But what is a breakpoint? This is a point that we will insert into our program, which will allow us to stop at a specific point to see what is happening at that moment. You don't have to go through all the lines of the program step by step. Here it is short, so it goes fast. But you could imagine programs of 1000, 2000 or even 3000 lines. At each debug, you will not perform all the operations one after the other. We will then use the breakpoint. First way to put a breakpoint, you select it directly in your program by clicking on the little base line right here. Like that. Let's say I want to stop at LV sub. I stand next to it, click like you see it, and the small stop appears. To remove it, I click it again, and it disappears. I'll put it back, and we'll go to the debug together. Program here, execute and debugging. I will fill in the two fields like this and I'll execute. I'm going to be at the top of the program here, as you see with the current line and I press F8 or the continue button here and I'll go directly here, skipping the two steps here. The first, LV sum and LV multiplication. And I am directly in the subtraction. So we click, double click on LV sum, LV multiplication and LV subtraction. You can see that my variable LV sum and LV multiplication has already been calculated, but not the LV subtraction. If I now press F5 or click on single step, you can see that the variable LV subtraction has been calculated with the value 5. I can continue to execute the rest of the program and then go back. I return in the code and we can continue with the breakpoint. Indeed, it is possible to put breakpoints at the beginning in the ABAP editor like this, but also during the runtime. I could very well tell him now that I'm in the code and I've seen the value of LV subtraction, I would like to stop now at right LV subtraction. I can then click in the same place. So we will see it together. I will direct processing. I will use is I filled two parameters. We will add our variables here, here, and here. You see that I am stopped at this current light due to my breakpoint. And now I want to stop it at the right LV subtraction statement. I click on it and you see another breakpoint appears. The difference is that you can see that the line or at least the breakpoint that are inserted before in time are not displayed in green. The ones that are displayed created during the runtime will be highlighted in green, so you can see that they have been added afterwards. I press F8 or continue here and I go to the next breakpoint. You can see the current line here. So okay, now I can continue and go back to the code again. I will restart the debugging program here, execute and debugging. And other things are 
interesting. First of all, we saw that we could select breakpoints where we wanted to put them. So I just go in the debugging part. And here I voluntarily clicked on the line. Like this one. I arbitrarily choose where my breakpoint will be. It is possible with more breakpoints, breakpoints at, to set breakpoints according to the situation. We could just say that we want to put breakpoints on this or that statement. Tell him if I have a right or a clear statement, then you stop. Here, breakpoint, I tell him you put a breakpoint on the right. So here I'm writing the statement right and I continue. All right statement then have a breakpoint to insert. Very practical depending on what you want to search for. There are many possibilities. I can show you again. Breakpoint, breakpoint at. You can put breakpoints on statements, program, method, exception or error messages, etc. When SAP gives you the error message number, you can tell it to put a breakpoint on that message number. I want to see what happens before and what generates it. So there are breakpoints, but also watch points. I'm just going to run to make a little bit cleaner and I will run the program again. So just wait a second. I will execute everything, go back and return to the code. I run the program again. So here, execute, debugging, fill in the parameters and execute. We are into debug again, and this time let's see what the watch point is. So the breakpoint is a point where the program will stop. Here, the cursor will scroll until it stops at a breakpoint. And then at the breakpoint, SAP stops and lets you see what happens. But each breakpoint is chosen arbitrarily. That is, it is either clicked or told to stop at a certain point. It is, thanks to the watch point, possible to watch or to, to, to scan a variable. I have a very large program and I would like to see when my LV sum variable changes value. It's not always obvious because in a large program it may change value several times. It may undergo several operations and so on. It's not always easy to, to watch to spot every time a variable changes. There is then for that the watch point. We click on it here, watch point. This screen appears to create a watch point and we will define the variable. Here we can choose the LV sum variable. I'm going to tell SAP set a watch point to this variable. I validate here and you can see watch point created in the bottom of the screen. You see that we have a breakpoint here <clears throat> and you see also the current line. Normally, if I click on the continue button, I am supposed to jump to this position to the breakpoint. I will press it and we have stopped at this line. So not to the breakpoint, but just here. Why? Because LV sum has changed its value. Here, 
it has just gone from 0 to 25. He moves on to the next step and stops. Very useful in large programs to spot variables, especially when there is a problem. One more little trick, very useful. Here we have seen how to go into debug mode in programs we have created. I will run to the hand, get out, so here, run to the hand, go back, go back another time and go here. We were in a program that we created ourselves. It's easy to debug this kind of program, but it is also possible to debug programs created by SAP. To do this, you must open a program. Let us assume IW38 and press enter. This transaction allows you to display the list of maintenance orders. If I run it, SAP displays the list of maintenance orders to me. But I would like to see what is going on behind this. So I put myself here at the top in the transaction bar and type slash H. I press enter and when it's done, at the bottom left, SAP shows me debugging switch on, just here. By doing this action, I just enter debug mode. And when I run, execute here, you can see that debugging starts. Here, I am in the SAP internal code. There you can analyze everything that happens. You can perform the different steps, select variables, use breakpoint and watchpoint, and see what problem you may encounter, even in programs created by SAP or by your other colleagues. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to give us a feedback on this series and tell us if you like the concept. See you soon for our next episode.